Antholite and gedrite are orthoamphiboles, and that means that the octahedral chains um, point in opposite directions as you move up the structure, just like an orthopyroxene. Um, I, want, I stopped this to show two different grains. There's one in the middle, which is lying elongate in the plane of the thin section, but there's also some good amphibole cleavage that you can see that I've outlined with the little diamond to the left. So watch those as the video starts um, with the rotating of the stage. Okay, so here you'll, you may see that the central grain um, has a gray pleochroism. Um, it's faint, um, but that is characteristic of gedrite. When I cross the polars, you'll see it has parallel extinction. That's a really important characteristic. That's how you know it's in the orthorhombic system. Those end sections show really nice amphibole 6120 cleavage. So that's one of the key characteristics that allows you to identify this as an amphibole. Now this is more gedrite, um, a little more pleochroic. I think you can see it's, it's darker when it's running uh, east-west. Um, really nice uh, needles, amphibole habit, um, moderate relief. At least it's clearly higher than the quartz that's in the thin section. That moderate relief is also characteristic of amphiboles. This is another grain of gedrite, very, very pale pleochroism. I can just barely make it out, uh, but it's got the moderate relief, um, parallel extinction, you'll see that uh, when I cross the polars. Um, in this case, the interference colors are about as high as I ever see those, those really intense um, reds and purples and, and magentas. And I won't lie to you, I'm not sure if this is anthophyllite or gedrite. There is gedrite in the section, I know that. Um, but is this pleochroic or not? I have trouble telling. If it's pleochroic, then it's gedrite. And if it's not pleochroic, it's anthophyllite. And really, the only way to be certain is to either get a chemical analysis on it, because gedrite has aluminum and sodium in it, or to have some kind of spectroscopic measurement that could distinguish the two different amphiboles. But this one, I'm sure, is anthophyllite. It's that long, skinny grain in the middle. Um, you'll see it has parallel extinction, absolutely colorless in this case. Um, and it coexists with talc and olivine. Now, it's really that coexistence with talc and olivine that tells me that it's got to be anthophyllite. Anthophyllite and talc are kind of common in altered ultramafic rocks. Altered ultramafic rocks don't have very much sodium or aluminum in them, which would form gedrite. So context matters here.